Australian national Yin Xiaosong was among the first batch of insurers to test the water in China and with the first-hand experience of China's freer entrance in the insurance industry. We are now almost enjoying the same kind of treatment compared with local insurance companies, especially in areas like life insurance and property insurance. And also in terms of business coverage, regions and product lines, the differences are getting smaller. Another early bird in the market, Swiss Re is now China's largest foreign reinsurance company. It sees great expansion chances there. Speed is one of the particular features. So the growth pattern which we have seen over the last years was effectively not comparable to any other market. There are a lot of other markets which have grown as well, but not at the scale of, of, of China. If I can give you some examples, if you like. Uh, we have deployed uh, online applications with clients, and we just last week concluded the first one million transaction on this application. Any other market where we're using this has having, is having around thousands. So it clearly shows you the difference in scale and, and therefore also the difference in demand on, on, on us to satisfy those, those needs. Foreign insurers gained full access to the car insurance market in 2012, which was a milestone since China joined the World Trade Organization in 2001. 56 foreign insurance companies from 16 countries have recently settled in China, and more are on the way. Fang Xiaozhou, CCTV.